Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be discussing the news. The official announcement, the signing has been made of Matt Lawton. He has signed for the, for the season on loan from Burnley. What a signing this is. I am absolutely delighted. I really am. And, you know, I'm j obviously it was pretty much sealed, you know, when I recorded the other day about obviously transfer news. But the fact that we've done it now, it... it it makes me more excited, obviously, to see him in action and what he can bring to the table. And I've, you know, I've no doubt that he'll bring so much, you know, so such a another big boost for the club, you know, with, you know, and he'll bring his his experience, as we know, and from listening to him on his interview, obviously, with the club this morning as well, um, you get a sense he's such a hard working, you know, player as well and. You know, that's what you need. And and that fits the ethos of Huddersfield Town. Of course it does. You know, everybody works hard for one another. And and yeah, it is just brilliant to to get this transfer. And what a start as well, by the way, to this win you know, to this window, because you know, make no mistake, we knew that we needed to get players in, you know, this month to help us survive in this league. And the fact that we've been able to make one already you know, a few days into the window opening. Um, it's a brilliant start. Um, let's, you know, obviously, hopefully add a few more in as well. But obviously today we are here to react to the news that Matt Lawton has joined the club. Um, but yeah, first of all, before I get into it, I must say thank you, thank you, thank you so much to everybody that has helped me get to 200 subscribers. Like I said, we hit the goal last night. I was so overwhelmed. I really do appreciate everybody's support. It just means the absolute world to me, like I said. And it's, you know, 200 subscribers means a lot to me because, you know, it may not seem a lot to some people, but it is to me because, like I say, I, I never expected to get this amount of subscribers, if I'm honest with you. I felt like, you know, if I was to get 100, I'd be happy. But the fact that I've been able to go that step further and get to 200 now is just incredible. Um, so yeah, just a big, big thank you to everyone for showing your support and, and watching my content. And like I said, I just want to keep improving what I do, adding new things to the channel as well. And uh, just keep working hard at what I do because I just love, you know, I just, I've just just loved this journey on YouTube since I started it, obviously. Um, around eight months ago now it has been. So yeah, big up to everybody. And um, yeah, I just want to say, like I said, a special thank you. Uh, to everybody that has commented, subscribed, liked my videos, or anything that you've done to support me, um, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, um, like I say, if you do like this video, by the way, you can hit the like button as well. It does help with getting the video noticed. Um, and subscribe as well. We are on the road to 300 subscribers now. Let's let's dream big and let's go for the next big goal, which is 300. Um, so, yeah. Hit the subscription button if you are if you stumble across this video just right now and 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 yeah it would mean a lot to me and comment your thoughts what are you what have you made of this signing that's been announced this morning let, let get your thoughts in and um, of course I will have um, some thoughts of other fans in this video as well later a bit later on um, we're going to get a Burnley fan on um, to give his take on on what we can what we can kind of expect of Matt Lawton as well as um, um, having a town perspective, you know, having a town fan's perspective as well. So we're going to get uh, a special guest on um, t to hear his thoughts as well. So um, stay tuned because um, I'll be, um, you know, like I say, speaking to them. Um, I'll be hearing their, I'll be adding the thoughts of their of, of them onto the video. Yeah, there we are. But yeah, um, so yeah, let's let's talk about the, the signing then, because obviously I want to obviously recap his career so far, Matt Lawton. Let's get to know him a bit more, and then obviously um, I've kind of given my thoughts on how happy I am to see him through the door. But I, I'll add some more thoughts that I've got as well after this. But um, obviously he does arrive on loan at the club for the remainder of the season after. Spending the last seven years with Burnley, fantastic servant for them, so loyal and you know he, he, you know he's he's a legend there to be honest with you, and from you know from what I've kind of seen on social media and obviously speaking to 
other you know Burnley fans that I know. Um, I'm not mentioning any names yet because I'm 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 um, I'm building up the special guest. Um, so yeah, you keep keep guessing who you think it may be from the Burnley fans' perspective. But you'll probably you've probably have stumbled up, you know across him on um, YouTube because his content is fantastic. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, like I say, most of his time has been in the Premier League with Burnley. Obviously, a bit a bit of time in the Championship as well. Um, um, but yeah, obviously he's 33 years of age. His birthday is on the 9th of June. He's born in Chesterfield. Um, Lawton actually started his career in the academies of Leeds um, and Sheffield United. Um, he signed his first professional contract with Sheffield United in the 2007-08 season. Um, obviously, yeah, he went out on loan actually to Sheffield FC in 2008. So Lawton went on loan to. Ferran Chavares in 2009, that was hard to say, in order to gain first team um, experience and he made 20 appearances at the Hungarian club. Uh, and then obviously the right back remained with the Blades from 2007 until 2012, breaking into the Sheffield United first team in 2009, uh, becoming a key player for, for, the, for them in League you know, for them in League One at the time, um, as he scored 10 goals in 78 appearances. Um, Obviously, his next move saw him sign for Aston Villa in the Premier League um, in July 2012. Obviously, under Paul Lambert. Obviously, soon after, in the you know in September after he joined, uh, Lawton scored his first League Villa goal. Um, yeah, his first goal for Villa came in the league in a home win against Swansea. And obviously, the following year saw him sign a, a four-year contract. To keep him at Villa Park until 2017. However, obviously Burnley secured the sign, uh, you know, the sign of Lawton in the summer of 2015 on a three-year deal, and he made 27 appearances, scored one goal to help Burnley win the Skybet Championship. Um, and like I say, they uh, and as as they did earn promotion back to the Premier League at the first time of asking then as well. So. Um, Obviously, before joining us, uh, Lawton has made uh, over 180 appearances during his time with the Clarets and scored three goals. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, this guy play, has played over 200 league games in the Premier League. So, you know, his experience is vast. And you know, obviously, um, quite a bit of experience in the Championship too. So he knows he knows he knows the championship very well. You know he'll come in and he, you know, and it's not that far to locate really, is it? You know, relocate because, and I think that really helps players. You know, in terms of you know when players do come in, if they are already at, um, not too far away from the area um, that they that they come into, I think that that would help. That will really help them. There's no. There's no real need to relocate to Huddersfield. You, you can, you know, presumably is is in around, um, you know, the Burnley area at the moment, uh, Burnley Manchester area. Um, so he doesn't really need to relocate, which it means his family can stay where they are. And he, and I just think it's a very smooth transitional uh, move for a player when they can when they don't have to adjust as much as maybe someone that, for example, it, you know, if 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 a club. Um, from you know, if we if we got someone from uh, from a club down south, you know what I'm saying. Um, it's it, it's it's an easy move for him, and I'm just really excited to see him play. I really am, and um, I just think that th this this is the great, this is a fantastic start to the January window, and um, and yeah, we need experience in in this moment we're in at the moment. Like I say, experience is vital. You know, trying to stay up in the division. Um, and, and and yeah, I, I just think you know from like I said, what I've heard from Burnley fans and and you know on social media, I just think that we're getting a really solid player here. You know, he he may not be the player he once was. Obviously, thirty three now, but and there's a big but here. He is still very solid, and he and he's still a very very good player. So um, I, I'm I couldn't be happier with this. I really couldn't. Um, I mean, obviously. 
for obviously referring back to obviously the interview that he did this morning with the club, um, probably did it the other day, but uh, they announced it this morning, of course. But yeah, I, I, he acknowledged in the interview, obviously, it has been a tough four months for him, obviously, not getting much playing time. And you can sense he's not a player that's happy to just sit on the bench and and, and just and just not be playing. You know, and, and a lot of players are guilty of that. I'm just happy to just sit on the bench and just just earn a wage, really, and not really bother, be bothered. But you can tell he's hungry. You can tell he's he's full of passion, and he, he wants to be playing football games. And that's what it's about, isn't it? You know, as a footballer, and that's what, the way it should be with everybody. Um, um, his comment, obviously, he, he expressed his excitement. Obviously, looking forward to getting on the pitch for us very soon. Um, and he said that numerous occasions in this. Um, yeah, and like I say, he, he's know-how of this league. He, he acknowledged that there's no easy easy game in this league, and there isn't. You know, it's one of the best best leagues, the most competitive leagues, and it's so unpredictable. And um, every game, whoever you play in this division, is a challenge, and, and he's right. So he knows the league inside out. Um, also in the interview, obviously, he expressed the fact that he was looking, you know, obviously, you're going to be putting in the hard work, um, and get his fitness up um, in preparation to be ready. I do have my doubts that he may he may need time to get up to fitness. So we're not playing much games. Um, he, may, he may need he may he may need you know next week or so to maybe get his fitness up a bit, a bit better because um, the fact that he, he emphasised that he needs to improve on his fitness suggests maybe that. Um, there needs to be a bit more work before we potentially see him in in a in a terrier shirt for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, I like see. He ultimately he wants to play games, and he's come here, um, and, and he's looking, and he's and he's ready for the challenge, and and he's looking to to really hit the ground running here. And you can tell he's very, very focused, very driven, and, um, yeah, he is. He's really, really looking forward to to, to uh, obviously being with us and and and, and playing for us. And, and yeah, I, I'm I'm just delighted. I just think that you know, for me, I said it the other day that I would be so happy to see him coming. And the fact that he's coming now, it gets me really excited. It, it does. I think that he, 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 like I said, first things first, he will add that valuable experience we need. Second of all. He'll, he'll, he'll bring his, you know, his qualities to the table, you know, in terms of, you know, the, you know, in his experience. Like I said, his experience is key for me. Um, the know-how of the league, he knows the league inside out. Um, we, I just believe that we're getting a really solid player here. And I just think that, you know, a player like this can come in and really help us stay up. And um, I, I'm... Almost certain that he'll play a very big, big part in in our season now, from now until the end of the season. Um, no, no kind of disrespect to the others in the team at the moment, but um, personally, um, I probably would go back to a back four um, because I just think that that will suit us better, especially with the signing of Lawton. Now I think that we do need to go back to a back four. And he will fit into that system perfectly um, in the back four. That's 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 where he, you know, that that that's what I believe. You know, uh, he's not a wing back. You know, we we have to be we have to um, play a back four if he's playing. So for me, go back to a back four. There's no problems with that for me. And um, and and yeah. But yeah, um, so yeah. As I said earlier, um, we do have. A few special guests, obviously, um, and yeah. So obviously, um, I asked Dan from Turf Moor House to um, to give me his take on um, Matt Lutz. And obviously, being a Burnley fan, um, he he knows all too well what he's about and what what he's going to bring to the table for us. Um, so I asked him about his perspective of what we're going to get with him. Um, and his overall thoughts of him, really. Um, but yeah, before I do, obviously, ha you know, allow Dan to say his thoughts. Um, 
he does fantastic content. Uh, you know, he he's such a great guy. I'm proud to call him my friend. He, he's such he, he, he's brilliant. He, he's I'm really I'm really thankful to have come across him on on um, on on you know on on YouTube. Um, and yeah, we have become uh, really good friends. So yeah, go, head over to Turf Millhouse TV. Um, and check out his content because he's doing fantastic stuff. Like I say, he's nearly 800 subscribers now and he's on the road to 1k. So um, go over, show your support. But yeah, I'll hand over to Dan where he will give his thoughts and give us a, give us a flavour about what we're going to get with our new signing, Matt Lawton. So, town fans, what do you think you're getting in Matt Lawton? Well, from a Burnley perspective, you're getting a 33-year-old who, yes, don't be alarmed by the fact that he's 33. He, We signed him, what, 2015 for, I think, around 1 million plus add-ons uh, from Aston Villa. Since he could come to the club, he has been just a true professional, an absolute stalwart for the club. As I say, uh, he's helped us achieve promotions. He's great going forward. He doesn't shy away from a tackle. He's an old-school right-back, so he will literally defend to high heaven and will uh, do everything in his power to try and win you the points alone. Some of the, I mean, he's only scored three goals for, for Burnley, but what he has is the experience. He's going to play like every game matters to him, especially with the fact that his contract is up in the summer uh, at Burnley. So he's obviously going to be playing for a contract somewhere, whether that's with you guys, whether that's back, uh, back at Turf Moor, we shall see. But you are getting a workhorse who will tirelessly run, run and run. Um, great at getting forward, as I say. He's got great crossing ability. Um, likes to do the dirty work as well. He's played well over 200 games for the club or nigh on 200 games. And yeah, sad to see him go. Sad to see him go. But he's going to a good club, uh, a local club. Obviously, he's not that far Um in terms of the uh, geography of it all, obviously brought up in Chesterfield, so he's got he's got that Yorkshire roots to him as well. Um, but enjoy the Chesterfield Cafu, enjoy what you get out of him. He's uh, at, like I say, we signed we've signed a few thirty odd year olds in our time at the club, and they've gone on to be greats. So don't worry about the age. You've got yourselves a good one. Look after him, and who knows, he could be a permanent terrier in the summer. Take care. Yeah, thank you, Dan, obviously, for um, taking the time to record your thoughts on um, on uh, Matt Lotz and, and what, you, what you've what you made of him. And, and give give us a real good flavour about what we're going to get from him, obviously. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much to him. Big up to yourself, mate. And um, um, I really do appreciate it. And uh, um, so, yeah. Um, but our next special guest is... A very familiar face around Huddersfield, of course. A fantastic vlogger, and he does so much other brilliant content. You know, match reactions and match um, reviews at sometimes, and sometimes he just comes on and has a chat with with, with amongst other Terriers fans. Um, and um, he's a great lad. Like I say, I'm again another person that I'm very very proud to know um, to call my friend, and I'm, his channel is amazing. Of course, it is the one and only Brad Babs, who um, does amazing content, like I say, it, all Huddersfield related. Um, and um, he's actually looking to visit other stadiums um, around Europe, um, doing his vlogs and doing his thing. Um, so yeah, other kind of big things coming from him. Uh, so yeah, go over and subscribe to his channel. He's nearly at 5k um, subscribers, which is just insane. I, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm so proud and happy of seeing Brad, you know, really grow his channel. It, you know, I've, be, I've been there a while. Uh, I've been there supporting him a while, should I say. Um, and uh, it's just amazing to see the progression he's made. And he deserves it because he works so hard. And uh, like I say, me and him get on great. But yeah. I'm going to shut Waffling now and I'm going to hand over to Brad where he's going to give us his take on the signing of our new signing, Matt Lawton. 
What's up guys, Brad here for uh, just doing a quick reaction to Ryan on the signing of Matthew Lawton. I think we've done really well to uh, to acquire a player of his of his experience. You know, he's played at the top level under under Sean Dyche for a long time in, in the Premier League, so it's, it's it's quite a good signing to make. I feel it's gonna give us depth. I don't think the rumours about Kessler Hayden leaving a true I feel like it's just back up with Turton being out which I think is sensible because should Kessler Hayden get suspended or or go forbid injured you know we're not going to have that back up um, so I think it's a smart move uh, there are a couple more positions we need to strengthen but I am really happy with that signing truth to be told and I think it's one that definitely strengthens the squad in a time where we do need it most um, but it is only a loan it may be a permanent you know, he's coming to the back end of his career, but you know, as I've heard from from Turf Moore House, who you know, I follow his work quite quite often, um, so does Ryan. Uh, we've been obviously we've been told that he's a hard worker and he gets stuck in, and, and that's what we want at Huddersfield Town. So, uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm, I'm quite happy with what I'm um, what I'm being told. Hopefully, it comes to uh, it comes to be the truth, and um, we see a, a talented player who wants to get stuck in and. Uh, out for uh, Town. Cheers. Absolutely fantastic to get Brad on the channel, of course. Thank you for, to him for giving his thoughts on the signing. And yeah, me, me and Brad always are on the same page, more, more often than not. You know, so very wise words as always from him. And, and yeah, big up to it to yourself, Brad, for, for coming on. Um, but yeah, um, it's been really good actually to actually get over obviously fans' perspectives of things obviously from a Burnley point of view and then from obviously um, Huddersfield point of view alongside myself. So so yeah, it, 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 it's, it's been fantastic and um, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, um, the only way is up now for us. We need, we need to keep, you know, obviously a brilliant start to the window. Let's try and get a few more through the door, and it really help us. But you can't, you can't fault the start. What a start it is to to get a player of this quality through the door. It has really impressed me and really made me happy and and excited me. And, and I'm sure you know, amongst every other town fan, they'll be feeling the same way. And and yeah, but yeah, don't forget you can like the video if you can. That would be amazing. Um, smash the likes, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Like I say, on the road to 300. Yeah, I'll keep. I, I've said it twice already, and I'm going to keep saying it because I cannot believe that I'm actually saying that. Um, but yeah, I am, and it's incredible. So yeah, hit the subscription button if you are new around here, and comment. Comment your thoughts on this sign. What have you? What do you make of it? Are you ha are you happy? You know, just yeah, just give me your overall thoughts. And obviously, as always. I'll uh, reply to you guys uh, as I always do. Um, so big up to yourself, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Up the town.